Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad, here to do your love reading. For those of you returning, for those of you that are you, thank you so much for being here and allowing me to read for you. It's always such a pleasure and an honor. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please make sure that you do. Uh, it helps the channel's growth and it lets other Scorpios know about our channel and to get their messages. Make sure to smash that like if you enjoyed the video. And turn on your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I do do two videos a day for Scorpio, seven days a week. So, just to let you know. Um, thank you so much for those of you that have already subscribed, and your beautiful comments, and uh, your shares, your likes, your subscribes. Thank you so much for making Scorpio Squad what it is. Um, if you're looking for a live tarot card reading, I do have my own private tarot card readers. Just mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. Social media links are Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon, and only those links that are listed down below. There are no others. And also, Scorpio, um, keep in mind when we have, we need another 1500 over at Heart Passion Tarot, which is my other channel, I will be doing a live there with free love readings for everyone. Um, if you're looking for a personal love reading for me, you can only book it through my website and pay for it there. Okay, Scorpio, let's get started. Official Scorpio Squad merch is down below. Okay, let me just make sure. Yes, okay, I don't want my deck upside down. Um, just click on the Teespring store below the video, okay? Here we go. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. When it comes to love, dear angel, spirit, white light, please come into this reading. For Scorpio, what do we need to know? I love you, Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? What do we have for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, we have a card that just flipped over. I'm going to take it. Hold on, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm sure cards will be flying all over the place very shortly. So I'm preparing myself. I'm bracing myself <laughs> for the card down moment. Poor Scorpio. Poor Scorpio. Here they go, Scorpio. Third party situation. Heartbreak. Um, you're either keeping tabs on somebody or they're keeping tabs on you. The chariot in the now. The nine of wands what's hidden from you could be a third party situation too keeping tabs on you the eight of cups in the recent past or somebody who broke your heart or somebody cards down Scorpio or, um, or somebody who left your heart broken who broke your heart is keeping an eye out on you cards down Scorpio not one card cards down the Knight of Pentacles in the near future, the Fool for you, the Lovers for your person, the Ace of Pentacles in your hopes and fears, and the Emperor in the future. Outcome. What do we got? We got Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You got them all here. <laughs> They're all in love with you, Scorpio. This is your reading. Here you are. All right, Scorpio, let's go. So in the recent past, we have the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Scorpio? You walked away or they walked away or you both walked away? What happened? Let's see. For Scorpio, the Eight of Cups. The High Priestess. I think you walked away so you can have a brand new beginning somewhere else. You said enough is enough. Yeah? Scorpio. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups in the recent past. Why is it here? You listen to your intuition. Your intuition is saying, was saying to you, I'm out of here. And I'm going to go have a brand new beginning somewhere else. Um, You walked away from the situation because somebody was promising you a brand new beginning, but they were full of it, Scorpio. This person had way too many options. 
or they didn't know what they wanted. So things came to an end. You made sure of it. The chariot in the near future. I mean in the now. Why is a chariot here? Oh, somebody wants to come towards you. Wants to build with you, Scorpio. This person was going back and forth about making a decision. But this wanted to come out this way. So it looks like they're no more going back and forth about what they want. Could be this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could be an Empress. It is the Empress of the Minor Arcana. Switch the genders as you need to, right, during the reading. Roles can be reversed. So somebody may look at you as being the Empress Scorpio or the Emperor. And someone was going back and forth about making a choice. And it looks like they've made their choice now. Or they're about to. Wow. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Someone wants to send you a message. wants to marry you, have a reconciliation with you, celebrate with you. What is going on here? Or are some of you just looking to um, get a home here? We'll see. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Abundance. You're moving forward. Temperance is here. So I feel whoever you're dealing with here is going with the flow is somebody who is single alone libra gemini aquarius energy wants to come towards you offer you a couple love they love you hmm. so why is the nine of wands here for scorpio Why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio? Somebody's clearly spying on somebody here. Maybe you're both spying on each other. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio? What are you protecting yourself from? I don't know, but not only do you have your wall up, but you're just feeling stuck. You're doing a lot of overthinking. Trying to find the strength to go forward here, Scorpio. There's somebody you're thinking about who's at a distance from you, or they're thinking about you. But somebody wants to give an equal give and take here now. And somebody wants to come speak their truth to you. Could be this King of Wands. Doesn't have to be. It's their energy, right? Someone who's very passionate, good-looking, charming. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Oh, this is somebody, somebody's coming towards you who kept things hidden from you here. They're moving really, really slow, Scorpio, but they're moving towards you. Um, this is somebody who kept a lot of secrets, and this is also hidden from you. You were dealing with somebody that was really um, selfish. Only looking out for their own good, for their own needs. Tell me more about this. What is going to happen with this Knight of Pentacles? in the near future. What's going to happen with this Knight of Pentacles in the near future? Now, they could have Earth in their chart, or it's just them coming towards you just very, very slowly, where you don't even notice that they're coming towards you. The Hermit, the Star, Virgo energy, Aquarius energy. So I feel here somebody is trying to look very clearly, trying to get the answers within. 
about their wish fulfillment. And it looks like somebody's no longer stuck. They were stuck for the longest time. Wow, we've got judgment here. We've got the King of Cups and we've got the Hierophant. So it looks like somebody's been awakened here. This King of Cups. This could be you, Scorpio. I feel like uh, there's in the near future you're going to be wanting to settle down, get married here, from what I'm saying. Or, and I also see marriage for you. The Fool, for you, wanting a brand new beginning. Why is the Fool here? The Fool is clarified by the Chariot. The Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. So somebody here, it looks like you want a brand new start. You want to move forward. Um, it looks like you've been trying to decide whether you want to stay single or you want to be married here, Scorpio. Okay, so I see this. You're waiting. You're waiting for this King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn to come towards you because you feel this person is your happiness. You're waiting for them. The lovers. Why is the lovers here for Scorpio? For Scorpio's person. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Here you are, Scorpio. You love this person. But you're keeping your distance from them. You may even be blocking. I feel like this person loves you, but they're afraid that you've got your wall up and you're going to block this, even though you love them. Um, I feel somebody's afraid here to have a brand new beginning. This Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius could be you, Scorpio. You don't even know if you, this person doesn't even know if you'll accept their cup of love when they come in. I feel you feel this is a burden for you, this reconciliation. I feel it's stressing you out. And you feel this person from the past, Scorpio, is toxic, could be a Capricorn, and they can't be trusted, even though they, they're going to apologize to you. Oh, justice is here. We see somebody coming towards you. We also see a huge fight. We also see heartbreak between you and this King of Wands. But they want to communicate with you. They're going to communicate with you, but they're not going to tell you all the truth. It, like I said, it's all about them. It's all about what they can get. Yes, this person is at a distance from you. For you to move forward, it's going to require you to have strength. You will get a message that's going to make you very happy. Scorpio, but I feel it's going to leave you too much up in your head and you're going to be feeling stuck to start a new chapter with this person. You're going to want more information. I see you healing. I also see you um, having love and having your wish fulfillment. It's, and it's what you have manifested. Okay? You have a decision to make, Scorpio. And again, it's showing me that you are clearly making a decision after being stuck. You're going to try to get some enlightenment here. And I do see that you do get your wish fulfilled. There is judgment here. I do feel your wishes come true for you, Scorpio, with or without this person. It's your choice. The Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Some kind of business opportunity, financing, stability coming your way. What is this? The Two of Cups, the Fool, the Five of Pentacles, 
to Scorpio. So we see this stability coming in. We see love coming in for you. You have a brand new start. But I feel, Scorpio, you can't forget how this person treated you. And you're blocking this person. You're blocking this person. You're blocking from um, coming together. There's going to be an argument about it. This person broke your heart. Like I said, you may be saying no to them. Again, it's showing us the same cards. This person is not going to be telling you the truth, Scorpio. I think you know that, though. The Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? The Knight of Swords. So you could be showing up as the Emperor and you are charging forward with your life. The Two of Swords. Yeah, you have a decision to make. You have been betrayed by this individual here. And you got to really... This person knows they've betrayed you. They still want to come towards you. They're going back and forth. They're trying to get enough courage to come towards you because they, they totally um, betrayed you here. And they're going to try to manifest this back again. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, tell me more about the Ace of Cups that's being offered. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups that's being offered. Scorpio, you had three Aces in your reading so far. When I want to clarify the Ace of Cups, I have the Seven of Wands and Justice. For some reason, Scorpio, I feel you're going to have to make a decision between an air sign and an earth sign. Okay? Um, you're going to get an apology here. You are. What you do with that, I mean, you can forgive this person, right? Or you may be apologizing to this empress. Caught it. I do feel there will be equal give and take. If you accept the offer. But Scorpio, I see you again, you know. Um, you're regretting everything. You feel like this is a burden for you. You feel it's toxic. You feel it's toxic. Sorry. Um, you feel this is toxic. I feel your main focus is going to be on your pentacle, on your abundance. You just can't, you, 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 I'm telling you, this, this person, whoever this is, they stress you out when they come in your life. And that's why you, you have to say no, even as much as you love them. When they come into your life, they totally affect your well-being and your prosperity when they're around Scorpio. And that's why you're going to be saying no. Again, we've got this on the bottom of the deck. You know, when they come around you, they ruin everything for you. 
So be forewarned, Scorpio. I think you, you know what you need to do here, okay? I love you. That's what I have for you today. I'm sorry it was not, you know, but I got to tell you what I see. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Love and kisses.